Yo, this is my review of the Mac Brass 210 lacquer tuba, and it goes for $1,995 online. After all is said and done, my total is $2,366.90. Here's all the math right here. Um, yeah. So, the price, considering it's not like an entry-level tuba, but it's like the cheapest thing out there, it's definitely worth it. Especially if you're just casually playing. If you're not doing anything more than your community band or a few, like, concert bands, then yeah, it's, it's definitely a tuba that you want. Yeah, okay, durability, it's kind of rough. Like, I'm afraid of breaking it because it's a clone of a clone. It's... Yeah, it's it's a clone of a clone. So it's not the most durable horn. It's also a Chinese tuba, so it's manufactured in China and it's just kind of cheap. However, for the price, I think it's okay. It's just all right. Um, I really do wish it was more durable because even the smallest types of dents and scratches are noticeable. Um, as you can see, I'm wearing gloves in most of these shots. Um, but yeah, durability, I would give a 2 out of 5 because it's just not that durable. I'm afraid of denting it, dinging it. I know that, you know, upper level horns, like compared to a mirror phone, you know, you can throw it against a wall and it won't do anything to it. It's crazy. I've definitely not done that before. Logistics. So, hauling this thing around is really easy. Um, I think the hardest part, really, is just putting it in the case. Like, I struggled to get this thing in the case properly and maybe that's just me being dumb i mean tuba players are the smartest anyway but i mean i was i was struggling with that um but yeah once you actually get it in the case it's cool because it's got wheels it's got these straps on the front um it's got all kinds of straps it came with like shoulder pads i don't use those the case itself is kind of cheap feeling but it definitely is protecting the tuba like i can fit it in my car i've had no issues with actually transporting it around and like I said, the straps are actually holding up, knock on wood, but the straps are doing just fine. Uh, the appearance of this thing is super pretty, obviously. I'm wearing gloves because I don't want to ruin it. Um, it's gorgeous. And you can see the little Mac Brass logo they have at the front of the bell, and I've got my bow tie on it. Um, yeah, this model has four rotary valves, and they're all functional. I will say, though, that the um, fourth valve is sticking sometimes and I oil it by dropping oil made for piston valves down the tuning slides. I don't recommend you do that, but I'm just showing you how I do it. Um, but yeah, I think you should use like rotary valve oil and do it differently, but it works for me. So, I mean, if you have a Mac brass tube out there and you have no idea how to oil it, try this method. Uh, but yeah, no, I'm not a professional or anything. Anyway, uh, the appearance is solid. I give my the appearance of this thing is like a five out of five. Like you cannot tell how cheapo it actually is. <clears throat> but yeah, no, I love it. It, it looks gorgeous. Um, it's really cool, and it's it looks like a tuba. You know, like some tubas are just kind of weird. Like the bell's super tall, like on that Yamaha. Yeah, no, uh, no this this is it's great. I was a little concerned about it being too big. Actually, the size is pretty good like it's decent it's it's a 4-4 tuba um and it definitely sounds like a 4-4 tuba so next with the tone quality and the pitch i give the tone quality a four to five it sounds really good i mean especially if you have like a good tuba player behind it because right now i mean i'm kind of kind of not new but you know I, I, i'm not the best so tone quality is fine like i said four out of five because you know it's just a cheaper horn the pitch however pitch is th this is where it gets me because when i run it a couple times i sound flat and i'm like why do i sound flat i have no idea why i sound flat but you know i'm flat on this horn i i pushed all the the tuning slides in, everything. Um, and yeah, no, I, I'm still flat on this thing. I forgot to mention, the tuba also has one spit valve, and that's it. I mean, that's all you really need, honestly. It's it's great. Yeah, no, I don't know why the tuba is pitched flat. It's a little frustrating. Anyway, so yeah, I would give the pitch like a 2 out of 5, um, just because it's hard to actually get notes that aren't flat. I will also mention that some of the notes... I mean, some of the notes are more flat or sharp than they should sound. That's just kind of normal with tubas, I guess. Okay, another thing, the bell stand. So with tubas, it's important that you have a tuba that stands up properly. So the bell stand test is what you're seeing right now. Bell stand test is basically my measure of making sure that I can trust this thing on its own without any parental supervision. 
So I highly recommend that if you're doing any type of bell leaning with this horn that you put the horn down really slowly because it's very easy to, like I said, ding it or mess it up. Um, I always kind of move around very carefully with the horn because I don't want to mess it up. Make sure that's always against something. Like I'll have it against a chair or the tuba case itself or just laying flat on the ground. Um, I mean, I guess you shouldn't really prop it on its bell, but I do it all the time. So it rocks a little bit. Um, you can see that if I lean it that one side, the whole horn is like shifted that way. Like it's not good. I definitely wouldn't trust that standing on its own. So bell stand test, I give it maybe like a two out of five because I don't trust that thing on its own just standing still. And when you're putting it down, it's very, very easy to dent the bell because that um, brass is so thin at the top. Uh, that's my biggest concern is the durability of it all. Oh yeah, so with holding the tuba, um, it's pretty easy to hold it, but your hand will get really tired if you kind of rest it on the back of the tuba versus resting your hand on the top. Um, it's kind of frustrating. But yeah, no, I, I guess I just get used to it and suck it up. But yeah, no, it's, it's kind of weird because the, the center of gravity of the tuba kind of leans away from your body and you're constantly pulling it towards your body to actually stay playing it. But other than that, it's fine. Pretty much it. Um, I recommend it because it's freaking awesome. <laughs> it sounds great. Um, yeah, I know. I'm just going to throw in some playing tests. That's it. <laughs> Thank you.